Well, hey everybody. What I got going on today is, I believe this is a 250 six-cylinder because that looks like it's probably a 5 from the 250. Not 100% sure, but we're going to try to get this greasy, grimy, old motor running. Now, I took the belt off already because... It, uh, the water pump's junk. So, but it is greasy, grimy. This thing, I bought it for $100 with a tranny on it. The clutch and stuff was so rusted up on it, it was sitting outside. Uh, a build, it was in a building, but the, build, the roof was leaked. There was no roof over where this was sitting at. Uh, been sitting there for years. The guy says he knows nothing about it. So my expectations aren't too high, but I'm going to see if I can get it running. Now I did put a new starter on and a new flywheel. So I could start it up right here on the stand. So I'm going to put some pull plugs out, a little bit of tranny fluid down the plug holes. Seems to work pretty good. Um, let's check. Uh, yeah. Okay. No oil in it. So uh, I changed oil in my truck. I got it right there. Old oil. Yeah, we'll throw that in there. Nothing but the best for this. Hopefully that oil filter does not leak. I don't know. Because I don't believe I have one for it. And I probably wouldn't waste it until I make sure it's going to fire up. So, like I say, my expectations aren't too high with this, but uh, we're going to see what we can do here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, sort of get stuff. Lined up here and we'll see if uh, if that'll fire. So we got uh, junk here and <laughs> can you see that? Huh. Well, what do you suppose the odds are? Well, I'm going to set that right there. And uh, I guess if there's no fire, we'll see. But uh, we'll pull the cap off here. Take a look. I'm going to get you set up on the tripod here. So uh, it's a little better. Maybe spin that motor around while I do a little bit. And uh, be right back. All right, I'm back. I just wanted to round up a few things here. Um, I am going to, I put some fuel in this thing here, and I am going to dump this down the vent hole in here, try to fill up this bowl a little bit, see how that, um, will work. Maybe get some fuel on the accelerator pump, so forth. I don't really expect much out of this, to be honest with you. If this should happen to run, and run good, I may use it in my 1930 Chevrolet pickup. But I'm uh, I'm not expecting nothing too spectacular. Uh, one thing I probably should do before uh, I go too far. Yeah, that's nice. Um, Put some nice, fresh, dirty oil in here. Ooh, that's black. That's perfect. Nothing but the best for this rig. Sorry about the train horn if you can hear that. I live by railroad tracks and they're all hours of the night.
This won't fill it up, but it'll get it close. Like I said, I don't know if I mentioned before, but this is out of a 1969 or 1970 Chevrolet pickup. Doesn't really matter, both the same motor. Flips out of one or the other. And uh, now we should have some oil in it. Now we should have some dirty oil. Oh, yeah. We got an oil leak. <laughs> yep, that's just great. All right, well, that tells me everything I need to know. <laughs> so my videos are one and done, so I'm making a mess here, and you're seeing it, and I'm not going to cut it out, I'm not going to edit it out of there. It uh, it's exactly the way you're going to see it. Catler down. So we can try and clean up some of this. I guess I will uh, shut this down and uh, I'll get back to you. I've got to see if I can do something with that oil pan that's got a leak in it. As a matter of fact, it's coming out of the pan. It's probably so rusted. So I'll say epic failure there. There's the drain plug. It's coming right out of the pan. It's got two holes in it. <laughs> oh boy. So I have to let that drain and Try and clean that up, maybe put a little bit of JB Weld or something on it, just enough to hold the oil in it. Or turn it sideways and bring a welder here and see if I can tack it shut. <laughs> it's not going to run without oil. Failure. Well, maybe another time. All right, so I decided to go ahead and just pull the... Those really aren't too bad. I don't know how well you can see those. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and put some training fluid down the cylinder walls of this thing just because I can. I've got some. Just going to put a little bit down there. And I might just crank it over. The plug wires, I have new plug wires. I'm definitely going to have to uh, probably change those out because they just do not, I mean, like they won't even. That's the piece all the way out, and it just will not, they don't even bite on there at all, whatsoever. So, this is just more or less an epic failure, I think, today. So I'll do this, and a few other things, and I'll, uh, bring you back when uh, I got something here to show you that we can actually maybe use. I don't know. <laughs> Pull this plug out real quick. We'll take a look at this. Eh, that one's a little gooey, grimy. Um, I will do one thing. Because I'm kind of wondering, and I don't know if you guys are too or not, but uh, I really want to know if that rotor, this rotor, is out of this. So we'll check that out real quick. See if that is the one out of this.
And voila, there's a new rotor in there. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a new rotor right there. It's in there. The cap doesn't look too bad on the inside either. So I'll leave that loose for now. I'll have to make sure we got fire through the points. Like I said, I'm going to put some uh, tranny fluid in uh, all of these uh, cylinder walls and I may crank it over by hand or I might get a battery out and just give it a quick little couple of cranks and we'll see what, uh, see what we come up with. I'll bring you back if anything exciting happens. Alright, I got a battery hooked up to it and uh, just want to see if... Uh, if it's going to turn over. Still got oil running out of it, so it's got to have oil on it, right? There you go. At least it turns over. So I've got a wire here somewhere. Right here, we're going to see if uh, we have any if we have a hot wire here if we have any juice down here at the cap look at that two rotors huh well let's see if we got any oh we got spark well, I don't know how. I'm gonna give them a couple of little flicks because that does help clean some of the crud off. It's pretty cool that still has this little plastic piece on there. You don't see that very often on any of these. So we're gonna take that. And we'll put the newer rotor on there. We'll put the cap back on. Boy, I'm telling you, none of these plugs. The plugs all look pretty good. Uh, number one had a little bit of oil on it, and uh, the seventh one back uh, did not look very good. It looked like it had a little bit of oil on it too. But uh, said I don't expect much. When I said I wasn't expecting much, I uh, really wasn't expecting to have a hole, a couple of holes in the oil pan. That's for sure. So. Uh, I don't know. Let's uh, let's put some heat to it and uh, let's crank it over. See what happens. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> fuel down the throat hole see what happens I know that looks like a lot but that hole is pretty small in there the worst it's going to do is fire up and we're going to have to yank that wire out because we can't have it running without oil but it's still running out so Thing I can do that I need to check. I didn't check. Pull this back off right quick, like. I'll make sure the rotor's spinning. I think I'll get me some flex seal tape, put that on the bottom. It's turning because it's in a different orientation now.
pumping some oil because I'm getting oil up here. Jeez, the oil leaks everywhere. <laughs> so it's pumping some oil because it's getting uh, right out of the fitting here where the mechanical oil line would go. So we're just pumping some oil. That's good. I'm going to have to pull that out and plug that up too. So I'm going to pretty much call this one a failure for right now. And uh, when I get the oil leaks and oil plugs and stuff, uh, I'll make another video. Um, let's just call this one a failure because I really don't expect much. Like I said, I bought a Another six cylinder for my 1930 Chevrolet pickup. Gonna get started on that. I have parts. I've been having parts rolling in here. I've got plenty of stuff to get going on it. Uh, got a rear end found for it. So I am going to get cracking on that. And um, so there'll be videos of that. So stay tuned. So like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, you know, I'll throw a video in. Uh, the other motor that I had that I fired up last week. Um, I didn't film that, did basically the same thing, uh, there's not many oil leaks in that, did get it fired up, I'm going to put that in right here, so again, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching, please like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think, you think this is going to run or not going to run, and uh, we'll have another video to let you know who was right, thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.